to the um, company itself, Aloha the company. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a bit about that? Um, yes, Aloha um, has started about um, 93, 94, started in Malaysia. And from there, it got spread mostly in Asian countries. And um, then about eight years, nine years back, it was launched in Australia. Now in Australia, New Zealand is very popular. And um, we launched uh, here uh, end of 2005, early 2006, we started. Um, now, um, this is the first location that we started, and this is operating as a corporate center now. And we recently opened the regional office also in, in Texas. Um, now we have about 50 locations. We have 50 locations at this point, and um, uh, we will, uh, January or February, we are establishing in Canada. Next year, we would reach about 120 or so locations. So that's, the, that's, that's how it is set up. Mm, so this is very popular then. It's it is getting very popular now. Uh, after the second year of the program, it is getting popular because parents see benefit uh, what the children get. So then uh, it is getting more and more popular that way. Mm -hmm. The franchise system also developing more because of the way the kids are and the quality of the program. That's how that, that just spreads. Mm. So you are the CEO and president of um, Aloha USA. And so you started the USA branches. So what attracted you to um, bring Aloha into the US? Um, I see the benefit of the program. Uh, when um, in 2000 or so, when I visited uh, uh, Malaysia, I I see I I see um, the the amount of uh, work that teachers do with the children and how much it benefits the children. So that really attracted me. And um, when my children turned six, I wanted this program for them. So that was a initially that was an interest. And then when I talked about it and tried to understand more and more, it was so exciting. I want this to be available for. You know everybody so that is that is how it started and then it grew because mostly because of um the, the interest as well as um as i see more and more kids getting it, they surprise me actually when we see they start and i uh, initial stages at 2006 when i when i teach them i used to wonder whether they could get it across but then they surprise me every level so that i get very excited about it then we started focusing more and more on developing it. So Rama right now will give me a crash course on how Aloha works. Take it away. This instrument is called as an abacus. The beat in the top here is called upper beat. And the beat in the bottom here is called as a lower beat. The line in between is called as an answer one. We always use our fingers to move the beats. Let's say now I'm adding one with my thumb. I always use thumb to add. Add one more. Add one more. Add one more. I use my pointer to take away the beats. Take away two beats down. Take away one beat down. And take away one. The answer is zero. Now let's say I take a 23. Plus 10, minus 11, plus 12. Let's see how to work on this one. 23, 2 goes first, 3 comes next. Plus 10, I'm adding 10 with my thumb. Plus 11, I'm adding 1 and 1 with my thumb. Take away 12, I, I'm going to take away 10 and 2. The answer here is 32. Rama, can you tell us a bit more about your um, program? Yes, why don't you come over here? Let me show the books for you. Okay. Oh, There's a lot of um, books here. Yeah, it's a lot of fun with numbers here too. And uh, here we have uh, a junior program and a senior program books over here. It's a two different programs. Junior is for five and six year old kids. A senior program is for seven and above year old kids. Uh, the books here uh, with the junior, it starts with the 1, level 1. It goes all the way up to the level 10. This is a book for a level 10. So how long does it take for the um, junior students to go from level 1 to level 10? It's around like 2 years. 2 years? 2 years. Mm -hmm. yeah. And how about the um, senior students? Senior students, we have level uh, eight, 8 levels in the senior program. 
It starts with the level 1, which has an A and a book, B book. A is a class book book the teacher teaches in the class, and the B is the homework book, which is followed with the same techniques. Now, if you see the numbers here, it's a simple numbers you are working with the abacus. We start with the abacus. These are the numbers they will be working in the abacus. Slowly that is transferred to the mental theory what we call without using abacus. Then, now if you see the book over here, this is the last level of the senior program which is 8th eight, eight level. Now these are the numbers the students can do without using abacus. That's all in the head. That's all in the head. That's all, including all the decimal points. And yes. Everything, fractions, we do help them with the decimals, fractions, basic fractions and up to square roots. Mm. So multiplication, division as well? Yes, multiplication, division, yes. And I've seen some in some of the videos that the kids are doing this in the air. So what, what, what is that? Is that the abacus? Yeah, they visualize the beats in the air. The way we use the abacus, they focus on the fingers and then they just keep moving the fingers. At the end, they give the values for the beats and that's their answer. So in their head, there's an abacus yes, and they're just doing it? Yes, it keeps it. moving. A lot of internal combinations, as we call, that is like a lot of things. It is going to work with them, as you see, with the kids later part. So they give the values with the beats. At the end, they, that's the answer for the student. We talked to Sandeep and Samir about why they send their kids to Aloha. How long have they been here for? And my son, he actually just joined uh, three months back. Uh, and I mean, even within a short span of time, like I've seen like tremendous improvement in his like mental abilities and uh, math. And How old is your son? He's like a six year old. He goes to first grade. Oh, 